Most people are gay. I, I didn't know that. Um, most people are gay. Um, I, uh, I went to work. I worked at Pizza Hut. And I've never had a, a job that paid over a minimum wage, except for once. Um, but I worked at Pizza Hut, and um, uh, one of the managers, one of the assistant managers there, um, just looked at me, and he kept staring at me, and he made an expression on his face that's, that that would look like he wanted something, you know, and. Um, after that, he, he was pretty mean to me why I didn't respond. You know, um, he, he, was, he was gay. And uh, another person that worked at Pizza Hut uh, went, was in the bath, I, I would go to the bathroom to change into my work clothes. I wouldn't go to my work clothes dressed because I was taking the bus. I think I was taking the bus, so I'd go to, my, go to work in my regular clothes, and I think I put my street clothes into my locker because I was taking the bus. I didn't want to go to work dressed. So I, I change at, at, um, I change at the, um, at, at, at Pizza Hut. And I go into, I went into the, and, and, and this guy knew that I changed my clothes when I went to Pizza Hut. And he went, he went in, he went into the, into the bathroom, took off his shirt, and was primping in front of the mirror. He's just doing his hair like this. I go, in, I went to the stall and changed. And when I came out, he was still had his shirt off, primping his hair. I don't know why someone would take their shirt off. Um, when he was going to the, when he was going to the bathroom to check his hair, um, and you know he was gay, and um, and um, you know he was. I don't know why you would primp your hair for. Three or three to five minutes because I was changing in the in, in the bathroom in the stall, and uh, then there was another guy at Pizza Hut. He was seventeen when I started working when he started working there, and maybe when I started working there he was seventeen, and he looked off and he looked at me. They looked off into the distance. He said, "People." He was from California. He said, "People from California are different." And he looked off into the distance. Then he looked back at me with his serious look. And then I noticed that he and this other guy was primping in the mirror and a third guy were going on a fishing trip. And I guess they were waiting until they got off, got off work and they were going on a fishing trip. And so that let me know this other guy was gay. I mean, it's just amazing. Most people are gay. They, they deny it, but most people are gay. Um, when I was at church, there were several guys that came up to me. There were gay guys. One of them was married, so they, gay guys get married. Um, gay people get married. He was married to a woman who used to hang out with a gay guy. I mean, he's obviously gay. He acted, he acted effeminate. He was obvious. There are two gay guys, two gay, two gay men that she. He, and this was this was when I was in college, or about when I was in college. I I graduated when this one guy came up to me, and um, um, the, this guy's wife was hanging around two gay guys, um, Bobby and Dave. And um, you know they were just you know they were just they were just very effeminate. Both of them were very effeminate. And um, uh, 
uh, she, she married this other guy. I guess I won't use his name because his name's a pretty rare, pretty rare name. But she, she married this other guy, and his mother said, "Oh, he." His mother used his name and said, "He is so in love. He is so in love." And she was laughing and looking at people, you know, as she, I mean, she knew. And they had a daughter, and I just gra I graduated from, graduated from college. And another gay guy, and this gay guy came up to me. I mean, this, this gay guy that, whose name I didn't mention came up to me, and he, I was talking with him, and he, he would answer in short sentences, and he would answer in short sentences, and then, and then stare at me. He would just he wouldn't he wouldn't he wouldn't give much an ex much of an answer. Just stare at me and smile, and just stared at me, just continuously. For about 15 to 30 seconds, he would just stare at me. Then there was another guy. He was married. And um, he was gay. Um, you know, I just, I have, I, I have had probably 10 people. I'm 46. I've had probably 10 to 20 people, 10 to 20 guys come up to me for sex. And I don't mean... You know, they were being friendly. I mean, they came up to me. I mean, they, they would approach me for sex. I was in a gym one time. And, um, somebody came up to me, or some, somebody was looking, somebody did like this. He was looking around the gym. And I, I looked at him because I thought he was acting strangely by looking like this, like he wasn't looking for anything. And I looked at him, and he stared at me. I mean, just a, I mean, just people are gay. I think the women are gay too, um, and they act like they're not. They act like, you know, that that gay people are bad. But um, uh, um, you know. I've never, I've had about, probably about 10 to 20 guys come up to me for sex. Um, one of them was my friend, he called me on the phone and he told me that he was gay and he, he said he wanted to have sex. Um, A guy came up to me in high school. I don't remember exactly what he said, exactly everything he said, but he was gay. I mean, pe I mean men, I mean, got, uh, people are gay. And so, I mean, since I want to get married, and I've already found the woman I want to marry, I mean, everybody else would be out of the question because they're gay. I mean, just out of the question, besides the fact that they're not Christian, I wouldn't want to marry a gay woman. Um, there have been about 10 or 20 people that have come up, 10 or 20 guys that have come up to me for sex. Um, and no women. I mean, women have smiled at me or said they liked me, but, you know, but... None of them have come up to me for sex, but guys have come up to me for sex. So when when a uh, when a when a guy and a woman when a man and a woman or a guy or a girl hook up, they're doing it as a cover. Um and at the same time, people will call other people gay, and it's it's an insult. But I but they are. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Uh, the guys, the the guys and the women that I've been around have been gay. Women cut their hair short. Men wear their hair long. You know, um, but. People will persecute people for for supposedly being gay, and you know it, it, 
it's still taboo in our society. And, you know, people will say, oh, homosexuals are a minority. There's something like one ten there's something like one percent or two percent of the population. Somebody told me that, that homosexuals are about one or two percent of the population. Um I was raped by a guy, at least one guy. Uh, I was in my dorm room. I was fa I don't even remember him coming in. I mean, he, 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 it was one of these Illuminati guys, I think. And uh, I don't remember him coming in. And for some, I, I didn't, don't remember going to bed. I was li lying face down on my bed, and my head, my head was was facing to the, my head was facing to the right. Um, and I think I heard the door open. I turned around and I saw this guy that I knew from church, from church. And um, I saw, I saw, I saw, it was this guy that I knew from church's jacket. I thought that's this guy's jacket. His name was Vince. And he was a guy from church. He drove me to church because I didn't, because I was going to college. And I went out to the hallway and said, Vince, and he looked at me like this. And uh, he, he, he was going through the, through the second door. He was going through the door to the hallway. And he kept walking. He turned around and kept walking, but he looked, he looked shocked. His mouth, I think his mouth was open. And I, I followed him through the hallway. I said, Vince, Vince, and he ignored me. And next Sunday, he picked me up. And I figured he didn't want to talk. I think it was next Sunday he picked me up. Next Sunday or next Wednesday or something like that. Uh, and uh, I said, you know, what were you doing in my dorm room? And he changed the subject, and I realized he didn't want to talk about it. But I said, what were you doing in my dorm room? And I pretty much, I mean, I, I pretty much knew then, you know, and, you know, people complain about, about women being raped. You know, people are gay. Women, men don't wait, rape women unless there's some reason. I mean, it's not, it's not, um, For you know, it's, it's it's not because they want to. It's not because they sexually feel like raping a woman. They want make might, might want to make a point. Um, they might want to boast to their friends, but people are gay. You know, if you go to Romans one, it, the whole you know it starts out on the list of sins, and it gets down to homosexuality, pretty, pretty quickly. Um, it's at the top of the list. As people descend in wickedness, you know, the top of the list is homosexuality. One of the top of the lists. You know, they worship and serve the creature rather than the creator who is forever praised. And the next one is um, uh, you know, they, they gave up their bodies for for uh, to, to be defiled by one another and the next one is homosexuality it's like the, the third one the third the third sin from the top from from the from the most from the mildest sins you know people don't don't people people act like homosexuality is a rare thing it's not it's very common you know I think most people are gay. I really, I really convinced that. I'm really convinced of that. And um, most marriages are shams. Uh, and the stuff you see on television, or the stuff you see on television, and um, and uh, movies, it's not real. You know, anyway, God bless.